Hello, friends. I welcome you to my channel, Exe Graphics and Media. My name is Rafi Yaku. This channel is all about graphic design. And as far as this channel is concerned, I'm releasing a video to pre video tutorial from Monday to Friday. And the video is all about Cloud Raw graphics and Adobe Illustrator and also Adobe Photoshop. And the actual channel name is Exe Graphics and Media. As you can see on the screen here. And whenever you visit my channel for more video tutorial, all you have to do is to click on this videos icon. So when you click on this video, it's going to pop up all by pressing and the past video tutorial that you can watch and learn one or two things. You can see everything here. We have color drop tutorial, we have Adobe Illustrator tutorial, and we have Adobe Photoshop tutorial for the beginning and advanced. All the tutorial has been made in a comprehensive way. So all you have to do is to click on the video, watch them one after the other. And if you have any question as far as the tutorial is concerned, put the question in the comment section down below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more interesting video in Color Draw, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Photoshop. So let's get the tutorial started. Welcome back, viewers. Today, I'm going to I welcome you to day two of my color draw tutorial for beginners. If you have not watched the day one of this tutorial, please check the video on my channel to watch the day one so that you have a comprehensive understanding about the tutorial. So in this day two tutorial for color draw for beginners, we're going to talk about EPS file and other and some of the way you can do your layout for printing design and web graphics and some other tips and tricks in for an Excel, right? So let's get it to the point. So I'll go to my file now. And I'll select the point. Then I'll look for my EPS file. So I have my EPS file in desktop. So I'm going to make use of this EPS file. EPS file can be simply means a, a vector graphics or so. It can be created in Adobe Illustrator and open in the Corel Pro. It can be created in Photoshop and open in Corel Pro. And likewise, Corel Pro can also open Adobe Illustrator file. This is simply means that if you make if you work in Corel in, in Adobe Illustrator, you can save your file in EPS and also take the file into Corel Pro to do one or two things. This is simply means about this is what EPS file is all about. So I'm going to make use of this uh, 70 social media icon EPS file. Then I'll click on open. So friends, this is how you open EPS file in Corel Pro X7. So this one of the advantages of EPS file is that you can modify the file, you can modify the color, you can modify the text whatsoever, whatever the case may be. And if you like, if you would like to make use of this vector, social media icon vector in EPS file, you can get the file on platicon.com. That is where I download the file in EPS. So we can make a change on the color because it is already in the vector file. And change the color to whatever you like and so just like that so you can see i'm changing the color to my taste so this is the advantages of eps file and how you can open eps file in correct excel so one other thing i'm going to show you here is how you can properly lay out your design right Let me zoom in the entire document so you can see it. So, to lay out your design in Core Excel, one of the things you need to have in mind is that you need to know whether your design is going to be a printing design or your design is going to be a web graphic design. So, I will quickly explain more about printing graphic here. So, let's go to File. Then we click on New. Or better still, you can press Command key and pressing Control N. This is just how this is simply means you want to make a new document. So now, let's say for instance, we want to create a letterhead design in Corel. 
And as we all know, Leverage Design is always a printing design. So once you know the object of your design, you need to determine, since once you know the object of your design, you need to know that this is actual color you're going to use for this particular design. So in this design now, this is Leverage set, setting layout. So we, we just have to make use of CMYK because it is a printing job. That is a must. And one other thing we can do here is that we make sure that our resolution here is 300 because every printing design has to do with higher resolution. So once we are done with our layout setting, then we click on OK. Good. So as far as this is concerned, here we can make this up. We can convert this layout to any form. Now we set a layout for letter head. So we can come at the top here from the menu bar here, we can change the orientation paper to last key. But since this is a lay, this is a layout for letterhead, we don't need to change it to landscape orientation. So I'm just explaining landscape and uh, portrait layout. That is it. Then one other thing we can do here is that we can move from millimeter to inches. All you have to do is to click on this icon here, change to inches if that is the best thing. You are going to use for your printing, you are going to go. That. So, one other thing I would like to show you here is that you can come here and change your paper orientation. You can change it to paper if you are mistakenly set your page to be wrong and you want to change it. Maybe you want to create a A5 flyer and you mistakenly set up a page for A4. So, you can come here and change the page orientation. So, it's going to change automatically. This is how you manipulate around with the page layout in Corel Excel. So one other thing you can do here is that you can come to the page here. You look at the page layout here. You see a, a drop that shadow there from the layout. All you have to, what I'm going to show you here is a simple logic. All you have to do here is to double click the shadow. The dialog box is going to function. So this is another logic by which you can change your page orientation. So let's say for instance, here now we want to change our layout. We come to layout here from this point here. We come to documents. In general, page size. Okay, so this is the page size. Let's say this is A4, right? So you can click on this I, this place here. You're still going to have the same information from the welcome screen. These are another set of. These are the same set of layout setting people in Corel. So if you want to make your custom layout setting, now that is what I'm going to teach again. So we want to set a layout for business card. We want to convert from A5 size to business card layout format. So the business card is always in inches. That's first thing you have to do here. You convert it to inches. Then you come to the width here. I set your width to be 3.5. That business card size. Then your height should be two. Right? Then you can change your orientation here to landscape if that is the actual stuff you want to create to create. Then your resolution here is 300. Then you can add a bleed area if you like. Then once you are done, then you can show your bleed area. Then you can add a bleed area of 0 0.125. Then once you are done, then you click on save. Okay. So you can see how you manipulate with page layout in Corel. So you have to know that whatever you want to design, as far as business card is concerned, you just have to make sure that all your design fall within this 3.5 by 2 in the layout. Right? So this is how it goes. So one other thing I would like to show you here as far as page layout techniques is concerned is that you can still come here, double click on this drop shadow here. So the same thing is going to come so then at this point now, I'm going to make it some background. When you select background, another information is going to pop up. Here, you can change your color. 
So here we, we have no background. That was why you see a very plain color here, right? So you can come here and select solid. Then click on this icon here. You can change the color, whatever color of your choice. Then once you are done, then you can click on okay. So you're going to have a default color of type. So you can see it here. It's still okay. still play how design. So this is where we are going to stop today as far as our X7 tutorial is concerned. This is our day two in our X7. If you love this tutorial, click like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, remember to visit my channel for more interesting video in Core X7 and Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Thank you for watching the video from the beginning to the end and see you soon. Bye.